There could be new artwork in tattoo parlors, not a picture, but a warning. A local state representative wants to require shops to post signs warning folks that they can't join the military with tattoos in certain places. Way 3's Elizabeth Donatelli joins us live from Jefferson Mall, where she spoke to people in a recruiting office. And Liz, I understand this legislation is moving through. Yeah, it already started moving through today, Janelle, a bill passing through committee sponsored by Representative Ronald Krim from right here in Louisville. He said he sponsored the legislation after meeting a woman who tried to get in the Kentucky Air National Guard, passed all of her tests, but couldn't get accepted or admitted until she got a tattoo removed. Still, not everyone thinks the sign will help. But what we do is get the initial outline of the bear. Tar tripped in the second has tattooed all sorts of things he, on know, all sorts of people himself. in I all know. sorts of places. But it's not no, what he's no, drawing, no. it's where it goes that's the hot topic. In fact, the placement of one of his tattoos cost him a job in the military. Uh, he's like, you got any tattoos? And I was like, yeah, the ones right here. And he's like, anything on your neck? And I was like, uh, not really. It's kind of right here, and I turned around and I showed him, and um, he said, "No, that that won't that won't work." He was talking about the, above this, just that little bit of black right there. So, would a sign in the tattoo shop have stopped him from getting it? No, 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 no. Still, a state rep thinks it might for some. So, we took his bill to an army recruiter to explain their policy. Any tattoo on the neck forearm or lower leg automatically disqualifies the wearer from military service. Uh, that is not true. Uh, tattoos that are on the face or head automatically disqualify um, and, and anything that's on the arms is, is subject to disqualify. It depends on whether it's sexist, extremist, racist, or gang related. Back at the Ink and Dagger, artists don't think a sign in their shop would help. A lot of times uh, recruiters will go even to high school when they have a career day and have a booth up. That would be a great time to have a sign like that up. While another questions the military's policy. I don't think tattoos should matter if, you, in, if you're willing to serve your country. Now again, that was just an Army recruiter explaining the Army's restrictions. Each branch does have its own version of their military policy and uh, regarding tattoos. As for that bill, once again, it passed unanimously through committee. We'll move to the House floor. Reporting live here in Jefferson County, Elizabeth Donatelli, Wave 3 News. Thank you, Liz.